Africa's Greenest Hotel is, is a statement that we are making, but we believe this is not greenwashing. We're actually very confident that this will indeed be Africa's Greenest Hotel. And uh, one of the measures by which we are measuring ourselves is a very comprehensive, stringent and, and recognized and renowned green building rating system, which is LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design from the USA. Internationally recognized, been around for many, many years uh, and set the benchmark fairly high and is improving since. So we're coming in uh, with a very stringent criteria, which we're meeting on many fronts. We're pursuing at this point in time a gold rating and I'm quite confident that we will be achieving that. But basically for us, it's, it's not about a specific certification, it's about being as green as possible. Wherever we identify something where we can go the extra mile and also implement another sustainability feature, we do so. So that's why we believe we, we can claim to be Africa's greenest hotel through and through. For me, as the green consultant on this, on this job, uh, it was quite difficult to sometimes find the right alternatives for the normal products that are used. The green building industry in South Africa is still fairly young. It is definitely gaining momentum, that's exciting to see, but not on all materials do you have the correct alternatives that you might have available um, in the more established green uh, building markets like the USA or in Europe or in Australia. So that was a challenge. Um, and then also documentation. Uh, the rating system that we are working with relies heavily on the correct documentation for those materials, uh, proving that you're using the correct content, uh, that there's no chemicals inside, what the recycled content is, where it's coming from, and suppliers just have to get used to it. So we did a lot of legwork. Uh, we spoke to many, many suppliers, identified the best ones for, for our project, and along the way educated suppliers on what is required to actually go the extra mile to build a green building, and hopefully contributed towards you know, market transformation um, to make it a more sustainable sector altogether, uh, the hospitality and the construction industries. Yeah, we've put a lot of time and effort in looking what is available out there uh, in the world, in technologies and so on, um, to really operate, being able to operate the hotel, not only sustainable, but also, uh, also more cost-effective than any other hotel can. To achieve its lead rating, Hotel Verde will incorporate a large array of green innovations. These will include a sophisticated geothermal heating and ventilation system, spectrally selective windows which filter out UV rays and heat from the sun. There will also be a green outside area which will double as both a stormwater retention pond and a gym and jogging track. And there will be dedicated office space for collaborative consumption. During the construction of our structure and the pouring of the concrete slabs, we implemented a very nice intervention. Um, basically, we introduced Kobiak's void formers, which is a, a recycled plastic sphere, hollow inside, which is placed into the concrete slab at strategic positions, determined by the civil engin st structural engineers, rather, um, to basically reduce the amount of concrete that we use in our slab in areas where the full thickness and full strength is not required. With that intervention, we saved um, over 530 cubic meters of concrete, which equates to roughly 1,280 odd uh, tons of concrete, which was saved on this project alone. In some instances, we even used um, reused aggregate. Um, yeah, so where, where we could, we, we tried to also reduce the impact of, of the concrete itself. One of the biggest challenges has been in revolving uh, the waste segregation as a, a basic system. Um, people that are not used to segregating waste, recyclables or domestic waste, trying to implement the system is a difficult and challenging one, which is ongoing, but should hopefully prove beneficial with more projects of this type going to be happening within, within South Africa. So we want definitely to avoid waste right in the beginning. We will not even, um, um, how can I say, we will not try not to even cons uh, uh, produce waste. And this is really the best, the best approach uh, to the whole uh, waste management uh, policy. Um, also, we've mocked up some of the facade finishes that we were contemplating. And what we've also done, and that's what I want to point out right now, is the solar panels. Uh, basically, we will have three rows on three different floors of so photovoltaic panels um, which produce renewable energy and contribute towards offsetting the power that we, we require from the grid. But what they'll also do at the same time, because they are on the northern facade of the building, 
uh, they will actually provide some shading to the rooms that are on the northern facade. So as you can see in the background here, it's a very similar facade um, or very similar facing facade to what we'll have on the, on the northern side of the building. And um, most, of the uh, most of the windows are actually in the shade of the photovoltaic panels above. So we're quite pleased with those results. Um, this green movement is, is getting stronger. It ta it's taking really uh, momentum. And uh, um, I think we are definitely walking in the, in the right direction.